By July 1940, the modern high mechanized Nazi Germany had invaded most of Europe. France, Norway, and Belgium had fallen, and the Battle of Britain was about to begin. U.S. entry into the greatest war in history was just a matter of time. The American army was still dependent on horses and motorcycles with sidecars. We needed to prepare for war immediately. We also needed an edge. In just 49 days, they accomplished the impossible. If we raise the center of gravity, the weight will make it top heavy. Those are my guys. I've been the man behind the American Bantam Car Company since 1932. One thing for sure, somebody's gonna make some money off this thing after the war. We did it on our own time and our own dime. It wasn't exactly what the Army wanted, but it got everybody thinking in the right direction. If you're determined to give credit where credit's due now, retired Admiral Harry Payne, he's the real father of the weapons car. The man flat out refused to take no for an answer. Went over the heads of the QMC and directly to the Secretary of War. You will connect me with the Secretary of War. Remember the golden rule, never trust the military. To build that vehicle to those specifications in that short amount of time, impossible. Everybody knew that. Still, I was able to put the prints together in two days. I've tested every vehicle ever brought to the Hollybird Proving Grounds, and I'm proud to say I've broken each and every one of them. Ben and Chris claim we're onto something. Hope they're right. Heard that story before. Goat, bug, peep, general purpose, even combat car. I don't care what they call it. We might have made this for the Army, but I tell you, everyone is going to want to I'm not as stupid as I look. I know building something for the Army is our only chance of survival. 49 days to build something from scratch. Something unlike anything anybody has ever built before. It's simple. Create the impossible or shut down the factory. I should have stuck with racing cars. There has nor will there ever be anything quite like it. It is America's greatest contribution to modern warfare.